Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to analyze data using SPSS 25. The questionnaire is about students' fear of negative evaluation and students' O2L2 self. This is the data of my questionnaire. The respondent is high school science students in Indonesia. The ages are around 16 until 18 years old. And now, let's analyze the data. Now, we will find the Cronbet's alpha coefficient of each questionnaire. There are two questionnaires. The first is about fear of negative evaluation, and the second is about O2L2 self. And now, let's we find the Cronbet's alpha coefficient. Click Analyze, choose Scale, and click Reliability Analysis, and choose the variables. In this case, I will choose Q1 until Q11, representative of Fear of Negative Evaluation Questionnaire. So, just press Shift to make it faster, and then... Just click a row and make sure that all of the variables you want is in here and then click continue and press OK and yeah this is the output for your information the range is 0 to 1 if the number close to 0 it means the questionnaire is unreliable. If the number close to 1, it means the questionnaire is reliable. We can see that the Cronbet's alpha is 0.863. It close to 1. It means that the questionnaire is reliable. Now I will find for the O2L2 self questionnaire. And the way is the same with the previous click analyze and then uh, sorry click analyze and then click scale and reliability analysis and I will choose the Q12 until Q20 it's representative O2L2 self questionnaire okay and just click and uh, press shift to make it faster and then click the arrow and make sure that all included and click ok and this is the output of O2L2 self questionnaire the Cronbet's alpha is 0 0.768 eh, 768 it close to 1 it means that the questionnaire is reliable then the last I will combine those questionnaire and I will find the Cronbet's alpha coefficient the way is the same and the difference is I will include all of the variables which the 20 variables Just press shift to make it faster and then click OK. And this is the output of those two questionnaires. The reliability is 0.853. It close to 1. It means that this questionnaire is reliable to use. Now, I will find the frequency and percentage of each option in a statement and also in the demographic information. Then, click Analyze, choose Descriptive Statistics, and choose Frequencies. And I will find the frequency and percentage of demographic information also such as gender, age, and class 
and also the 20 variables so I will include it all except timestamp and name press ctrl plus a accept timestamp and name and click the arrow and make sure that all of the items you want to analyze are included and click ok and this is the output of the frequency percentage of each option This is the demographic information, age, gender, and class. For age, for example, there are 16 years old, the frequency is 3. It means that there are 3 participants age 16. And the percentage is 21.4. and the rest is the same and the second is gender for gender um, for male the frequency is 6 and the percentage is 42.9 and the female is 8 and the percentage is 57.1 the total respondent participants are 14 and for a class there are participants in grade 10 the frequency is 1 and the percentage is 7.1 and so on and this is the frequency and the percentage of each item and each statement which strongly disagree disagree natural agree and strongly agree Then I will find the minimum, maximum, mean, and the standard deviation of its items. Click Analyze. Then choose Descriptive Statistics. And choose Frequencies. And choose the 20 variables only. Except the demographic information. and click statistics and check for the standard deviation minimum maximum and min and make sure that you have checked those four and then click continue and click ok this is the output there are mean standard deviation minimum and maximum for each variable now i will compute the variables for your information the function of computing variables is to find the total level we need to do this before correlate and now let's compute the variables click transform and click compute variables and in the target variable just type f and e because i want to find the f and e first and click type and label and just type f and e same with the target variables click continue and choose the f and e items which is q1 until q11 
unfortunately we can use save to make it faster so we need to click one by one and click plus Then after that, click OK, and we can see the output in the data view, not in the output. And this is the result. And here, the higher number here is 37. It means that the higher number, the higher and e level of that number then I will find the auto auto self the way is the same just like the previous just type out in the label and include the Q11 until Q20 and press OK and let's see the output the output in the data view besides F and E and the higher number is 43 it means that the higher number the higher or o2 l2 self level of that number after we compute the variables let's correlate those variables which f and e and o2 l2 self that you have compute before click analyze and then choose correlate and choose P for P for eight and choose the F and E and O O to L to self. Click the row and then we use person and to tail and click OK and this is the output of the correlation formula for your information the range in correlation formula is minus 1 up to plus 1 minus 1 means strong correlation 0 means moderate correlation and plus 1 means weak correlation then for the significant level if p less than 0 0.05 it means significant while if P more than 0 0.05 it means insignificant in this data we can see that F and E's correlation with O2L2 self was moderate 0 0.454 and O2L2 self's correlation with F and E was the same then the, the direction is positive it means that the higher of F and E the higher of the O2 L2 self and vice versa. I think that's all for analyzing data in SPSS 25. I hope it will be useful for you and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share and also subscribe. Thank you.